Picture this. It was the late 80 seconds, and a peculiar extraterrestrial being had descended upon our terrestrial screens, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of viewers across the globe. The year was 1986, and Alf, that wise-cracking, cat-eating, fuzzy alien from the planet Melmac, burst into our living rooms with all the subtlety of a meteor crash. For many, it was the first time they encountered this delightfully quirky TV series, and it marked the beginning of a lifelong fascination with the bizarre and the heartwarming. Can you recall the first time you met Alf? Perhaps it was that infectious, otherworldly laugh, or his relentless pursuit of snacks that left you in stitches. Or maybe it was the poignant moments when this lovable alien touched your heart with his peculiar brand of wisdom. Now, as we journey back to that remarkable era, well unearthed some fascinating and, at times, astonishing facts about this beloved show that forever etched itself into the annals of television history. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the show's cultural impact, get ready for a voyage through time and space as we delve into the world of ALF. In 1986, the TV series ALF made quite an impression. While it wasn't an immediate hit, it managed to stay on the air primarily due to licensing agreements related to the ALF character. Before the pilot episode aired, NBC heavily promoted the show as a potential breakthrough, but it faced marginal ratings and mixed reviews during and after its first season. Despite this, the show continued thanks to the licensing deals surrounding ALF. One interesting fact about the series is the introduction of Baby Eric. This character was written into the show when Anne Skedding, who played Kate Tanner, became pregnant in real life. It was a real-life situation that found its way into the fictional world of ALF. The character ALF also achieved recognition, being ranked 8 in TV Guide's list of the 25 greatest sci-fi legends. This honor was reflected in collectible covers featuring the iconic character. ALF may not have been an instant hit, but it found its way into the hearts of many viewers, and the character ALF himself became a sci-fi legend. This show's journey from near cancellation to enduring success is a testament to the quirks and surprises of television history. In 1986, the TV series ALF became one of the most expensive 30-minute sitcoms to produce. This high cost was due to the technical elements required and the long taping schedules. To help recoup the expenses, NBC licensed the character ALF to various merchandise, including toys, breakfast cereal, and even an animated TV series. The technical demands of ALF were considerable, as it featured a puppet character from the planet Melmac, voiced and operated by creator Paul Fusco. The puppetry required skilled performers to bring ALF to life, and the show set had to accommodate the unique needs of the character. To cut the costs, NBC leveraged the popularity of ALF by allowing the character to appear on various consumer products. This licensing strategy helped offset the show's production expenses and made ALF a recognizable figure in American households. ALF's animated TV series further extended the brand's reach. In the world of sitcoms, ALF stood out not only for its unusual premise, but also for the financial challenges it presented. However, the clever licensing strategy played a crucial role in making ALF a household name, and it remains a unique chapter in the history of television. So, next time you see an ALF toy or a box of ALF-themed cereal, remember that these were more than just merchandise. They were a financial lifeline for the show's production. And that's how ALF's financial struggles led to a merchandising empire. Behind the scenes of ALF, secrets, and tensions in the 1986 TV series ALF, a furry, alien character known for his humor and antics took the center stage. But there's more to the show than meets the eye. Here's a look behind the scenes at some intriguing aspects of this beloved series. ALF's Many Faces, series creator Paul Fusco played a pivotal role in bringing ALF to life. He not only provided the character's distinctive voice, but also operated the puppet. Interestingly, two puppets were used during the show's production. When Alf was shown from the stomach up, a single puppet was controlled by two puppeteers. However, when the entire body, including the feet, needed to be visible, a different puppet with a human inside was used. You might have noticed that these puppets had noticeably different faces. Additionally, sometimes actor Mihaly Michumis Zeros, standing at a mere two feet, nine inches tall, donned an Alf costume, adding to the character's charm. Tensions behind the laughter, Alf was known for its humor, but the set wasn't always a barrel of laughs. In the years following the show's cancellation, Max Wright and Anne Skedding 
who played the Tanners, revealed that tensions ran high on set. The technical demands of the show led to long shooting schedules, and none of the actors enjoyed playing second fiddle to a puppet who consistently delivered the best lines. This behind-the-scenes strain provides a different perspective on the show's success. ALF's gruff voice, ever wondered how Alf got his unique voice? Creator Paul Fusco modeled it after Rolf the Don from The Muppet Show. This choice added a distinctive, gruff quality to ALF's character that fans have come to love. ALF was more than just a wacky alien living with a suburban family. It was a production filled with interesting challenges, secrets, and a fair share of tension. The creative choices and behind-the-scenes dynamics helped shape this iconic 1986 TV series. ALF was a popular TV series that first aired in 1986. While the show is well known, there are some interesting details about it that many fans might not be aware of. One notable fact is that the syndicated versions of the show, available on Region 1 DVDs, have been edited to be 3 minutes 5 minutes shorter than the original episodes. This means that if you watch the DVDs in the United States and Canada, you're not seeing the complete episodes. However, if you happen to have the German DVDs, you're in luck, as they are unedited, except for one episode, ALF, for your eyes only, which is missing a short scene due to music copyright issues. Another intriguing tidbit about the show is that the voice of ALF was provided by producer Paul Fusco. This adds a unique layer to the character, as it was the show's very own creator who brought ALF to life through his voice. Finally, there's an interesting story about Max Wright, who played Willie Tanner in the series. Reportedly, he was so eager to be done with the show that when the final day of taping arrived, he immediately cleaned out his dressing room and left the studio without saying goodbye to any of the cast or crew. This behavior may have been influenced by the fact that, at the time of the last episode's filming in the spring of 1990, the show's future was uncertain and it was unclear if the cast would return. These are just a few behind-the-scenes insights into the beloved TV series ALF. While the show's main storylines focused on the comedic misadventures of an alien living with an American family, there were certainly some intriguing aspects happening off-camera as well. As we bid adieu to the whimsical world of ALF, we invite you to embark on a journey of personal reflection. This beloved 1986 TV series has woven its extraterrestrial charm into the hearts of countless viewers, sparking memories that are as timeless as they are endearing. The Misadventures of Gordon Shumway, Aka. ALF transcended the confines of the small screen to become an integral part of our lives. His razor-sharp wit, heartwarming antics, and peculiar fondness for cats left an indelible mark on our hearts. Now, it's your turn to reminisce. Did you laugh uncontrollably at LF's quips, or did his escapades trigger a wave of nostalgia? Perhaps you were captivated by the genuine bonds formed within the Tanner family or struck by the peculiar notion of harboring a furry, woody alien in your home. Share your cherished memories, your reflections, and your thoughts about this classic series that made us all feel a little less alone in the universe. In the grand tapestry of television history, ALF stands as a unique thread, connecting generations with its extraordinary blend of comedy and heart. Your experiences and musings are an essential part of this rich fabric, and we'd love to hear them. Thank you for taking the time to delve into the world of ALF with us. Your engagement and memories are what make this journey through the cosmos of television so special. So, share your thoughts and stories, and let's keep the ALF legacy alive, one anecdote at a time. Until next time, stay curious, stay nostalgic, and stay connected.